this day Kalpana here in this video we are going to see a problem from principle of mathematical induction so let's get started problem using the principle of mathematical induction prove that 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus 1 plus n cube equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square for all and belongs to natural numbers solution we are given a statement 1 q plus 2 q plus 3 q plus so on plus n cube equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square right so here we are asked to show that the statement is true for all n which belongs to natural numbers. Okay, fine. So given, uh, let P of n be the given statement. Then P of n, 1q plus 2q plus 3q plus so on plus n cube equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 whole square. Okay, we are given sum of n terms equals to RHS. So in the LHS you are having sum of n terms, right? Let's represent first term by P1. Second term by T2, third term by T3, and n term by Tn. So we are having nth term is n cube, right? So when you substitute n equals to 1, you will get 1 cube, which is our first term, right? Likewise, if you substitute n equals to 2, you will get the second one, okay? Likewise, if you substitute n equals to 3, you will get 3 cube, which is our third term. And when you substitute n equals to k, you'll get kth term, that is k cube. Likewise, if you substitute n equals to k plus 1, you'll get k plus 1 term. Okay? Fine. Now, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to 1. If you want, you can show... The statement is true for n equals to 2, 3, okay? And we'll assume that the statement is true for some k which belongs to natural numbers. And finally, we'll show that the statement is true for n equals to k plus 1 using P of k. Okay? Fine. When n equals to 1, just consider LHS, okay? LHS. In LHS, you're having sum of n terms, right? When n equals to 1, you'll take only the first term. When n equals to 2, you'll take the sum of first two terms. Likewise, when n equals to 3, you'll take the sum of first three terms. When n equals to n, that is for n, you'll take the sum of n terms. For n equals to k, you'll take the sum of first k terms. Likewise, when n equals to k plus 1, you'll take sum of first k plus 1 terms. Okay? Now coming to the problem, when n equals to 1, from LHS, we take only the first term, 1 cube equals to 1. And in the RHS, simply substitute n equals to 1. Then you'll get 1 into 1 plus 1, 2 by 2, whole square here. 2, 2 gets cancelled. So, this equals to 1 square, which is equals to 1. So, here, LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS. This shows that P of 1 or P of N is true for N equals to 1. Therefore, P of 1 is true. So let's check for n equals to 2. When n equals to 2, from LHS, you'll take the first two terms. 1 cube plus 2 cube equals to 1 plus 2 cube is 2 into 2 into 2. 2 2 is 4, 4 2 is 8. So 1 plus 8 equals to 9. Now coming to RHS. Simply substitute n equals to 2, you'll get 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 whole square. 
Here 2 gets cancelled. This is equals to 2 plus 1, 3 square equals to 3 square is 9. So here also LHS equals to RHS. Therefore, LHS equals to RHS, which means that P of N is true for N equals to 2. Okay. Therefore, P of 2 is true. Therefore, P of 2 is 2. Okay? Fine. Let's check for n equals to 3. When n equals to 3, from LHS, we'll take the first three terms. 1 cube plus 2 cube plus 3 cube equals to 1 plus 2 cube is 8. 3 cube is 3 into 3 into 3. 3 3 is on 9. 9 3 is a 27. Okay, this is equals to 9 plus 27, which is equals to 36. Okay, now coming to RHS, put n equals to 3. is equals to 3 into 3 plus 1, 4 by 2 whole square. 2 ones are 2 twos are. 3 twos are 6. 6 square is 36. So here LHS equals to RHS which is nothing but P of N is true. P of N is true for N equals to 3. So therefore, P of 3 is true. Fine. See, you have to check only for N equals to 1. Okay. If you want, you can also check for 2, 3 and any of the numbers which belongs to natural numbers. Okay. But in examination, you have to show that the statement is true for n equals to 1. Fine. Now, assume that P of n is true for some n, not n, for some k which belongs to natural numbers. Okay. Then P of K will be 1 cube. When N equals to K, you have to take LHS sum of K terms. Equals to K into K plus 1 by 2 whole square. Simply by replacing N, we'll get P of K. Okay. Since P of K is true now, we have to show that P of K plus 1 is true. Okay. Now, consider sum of K plus 1th term. Sum of K plus 1 terms. Okay. Is equals to, we know that the sum of First k terms is equals to k into k plus 1 by 2 whole square. Okay. Replace this by k into k plus 1 by 2 whole square plus this term will be as it is. This equals to k square into k plus 1 whole square by 
टू स्क्वेर प्लस के प्लस वन होल क्यूब सो दिस इक्वल टू के स्क्वेर इंटू के प्लस वन होल स्क्वेर बाई फोर प्लस के प्लस वन होल क्यूब Again, this becomes k square into k plus one whole square plus four into k plus one whole cube by four. You can write this as one by four into k square into k plus one whole square plus four into k plus one whole cube. Or Simply, we'll take one by four common from these two terms. Okay, this will be easy, right? Fine. You are having k plus one whole square in both the terms, right? So we can take k plus one whole square common from these terms. Now take k plus one common, k plus one whole square. Sorry. Common from these two terms, you'll get k plus one whole square by four into k square plus four into one k plus one remains in the second term, right? So this equals to k plus one whole square by four into k square plus four k plus four. This equals to k plus one whole square by four into. You can write this as two into two into k. Since two twos are four, into k is four k, and you can write this four as two square. So this is of a square plus two a b plus b square form, right? Which is equals to a plus b whole square. The expansion of A plus b whole square. So this becomes k plus one whole square by four into k plus two whole square. Okay. Fine. Now you need to write everything in terms of k plus one. You can write this four as two square, and here you are having k plus two, right? As I said, as I said earlier, you have to write k in terms of k plus one. So you can split this two as one plus one. So k plus one becomes one number. You can consider k plus one as one number. Okay. So this equals to k plus one into k plus one plus one by two whole square. For n equals to k plus one, n into you got n into n plus one by two whole square, which is our RHS, right? So this shows that the statement is true for n equals to k plus one. Therefore. One cube plus two cube plus three cube plus so on plus n cube, not n cube. You have to consider k plus one terms, right? K plus one whole cube equals to k plus one into k plus one plus one by two whole square. Therefore, this p of K plus one, right? Such that. Therefore, P of n is true for n equals to K plus one. Therefore, P of K plus one is true whenever P 
of k is 2. Since we have used p of k to show that p of k plus 1 is 2, right? Thus, p of 1 is true and p of k plus 1 is true whenever p of k is true. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, the given statement that is P of N is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. Okay. So this completes the problem. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then. Bye bye.